Hey, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a macro to perform specific tasks in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. We're going to make an icon which will open up a dialog box with whatever text you want to put in it. This can be used when making a presentation to help you remember key points to talk about. First off, what you're going to need to do is open up Microsoft PowerPoint. Once here, you're going to look at your top left corner and click the File tab. Then you're going to scroll down to Options. And as you'll see, there's a left side column. You're going to go down to Customize Ribbon. Go to the right side, and your developer tab should not be checked, so you're going to check that and go to OK. <clears throat> After that, you're going to see that you have now developer tab in the top next to file home insert up there. Now you're going to go to macro security and enable all macros and trust access to the VBA project object model. This will allow you to view your project when done. Then you're going to click on macros and click create but our name is going to be hello it'll take you to this page right here and you want to type in msg box space parentheses and then whatever you want in your box Now you're going to switch back to PowerPoint. And click on macros again. And as you'll see, it'll be highlighted. You're going to click run. And now that's what's going to happen, except you can have whatever text you're going to have in there. But to make an icon for this, I'm going to go back to file, options. Instead of customized ribbon, you're now going to go to quick access toolbar and where you see popular commands you're going to go down to macros as you'll see it'll say presentation hello you can you click on that just click add and it'll take it over to this side um, and to make your own personalized, personalized icon you're going to go to modify and they have smiley faces all kind of stuff like that um, for this one I was using a microphone click OK OK down here and now, as you'll see right there, there's a microphone. You click on it, and now you have your text box. That's it. You're done. And now, that's how you're going to use a macro to use dialog boxes in Microsoft PowerPoint. Thanks.